Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. I'm Sam. And I'm Tristan, and today we're going to be watching season four, episode four of Peaky Blinders. Woo! Woo! <laughs> um, what happened in the last episode? I don't remember. Aunt Paul is trying to <gasps> oh, push Thomas off the face of the earth. Oh my god, now I remember. She said, hey Tommy. Oh my goodness. But, she, she but this time she said, he did double fingers. Yeah, um, basically, is what I forgot she said. that's how the episode ended yeah. because I was pissed about that all last night. Even afterwards, I was like, "What the <laughs> flub happened?" I actually slept so terribly last night, and that's why. That's actually not a joke. I really slept terribly last yeah. night. That's a situation, and we can't really, we don't really know. We can't understand. You know, we think maybe, maybe they're playing him. Yeah, maybe it's just a big old trap. Maybe that's it's what a we're trap, hoping. Or also, but... maybe Aunt Paul is crazy. And that's yeah, a situation. Maybe she really just wants this whole thing to end. And she's just that fed up with Tommy because she's been pretty angry with him this whole season so far. Yeah, she has. But you'd think that she would want revenge for John. But then also Michael got shot. So she's probably pissed that Michael got shot. So maybe she does. But then you'd still think maybe she'd want revenge because Michael got shot. But then also you're like, well, maybe she just wants revenge on Tommy because she's blaming because Tommy Michael got because shot. he got shot. So <laughs> see, there's just so much going on. Yeah. Um, but I really hope that she's not plotting against Tommy to get him killed because that would be crazy. That would be really, really disappointing. Yeah. Yeah, there's a few other little things here and there, but I think the Ann Paul thing overshadowed it all. And I really want to see if we get a follow up on that in this episode. So if you're down, let's just. Yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's get into it. Who is that? Oh, that's. Oh, that's. I don't know who, who that is. Good morning, Mrs. Ross. Is that the chick that tried to kill Arthur? Because remember they said that they were going to try and get that family. Right. It is her. Well, you see, tomorrow would have been my son's 21st birthday. Had he lived. And I'm having a bit of a thing. I thought I would invite your brother, Arthur. I really hope Tommy's like, fuck. You. Yeah. Gesture of what, Mrs. Ross? Not exactly forgiveness. Something like that. It's very kind. Well, I will let Arthur know. It'll be at my house at midday. One of us will be there. It ought to be Arthur. Yeah, Tommy's got to know this is fucking fishy, right? Come on, Potter. Dear Lord, forgive me. But vengeance is forthcoming. You still know what end the bullets come out of, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. But these men are coming for my brother. Man, Tommy got his glasses. I'm leaving on. him to be unarmed and unprotected. <sighs> Just put them on the table. Come on, Arthur. Come on, Arthur, you can do it. Mr. Shelby. I'm glad you could come. Don't allow firearms in the house. It's a good thing I'm not carrying a firearm then, ain't it? Mrs. Ross. But he really is, right? Do you mind if I check? Yeah. Mind if I check? He put it in his hat, I think. Come in. Would you like some tea while we wait, Mr. Shelby? What are we waiting for? The other guests. Ooh, she's, she's like shaking, yeah. Pouring that tea, she splashes all over him. Oh my god! Waiting for her. Oh. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> Just dumps tea all over him. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> you sicko. <laughs> you tea dumping sicko. Oh, here we go. Tea dumping sicko. <laughs> That is one of the guys, though. Yeah. I mean, at least it really looks like it. Oh, shit, Finn. Oh, my God. What if Finn gets killed or something? That'd be so fucked up. I'd be really pissed. That'd be so fucked up. So, oh, where are these other guests? <laughs> they will be here very soon. But in the meantime, there are some things I want to say. I've heard stories that you have welcomed Jesus into your life. I have indeed. At the beseeching of your wife, who they say is a good woman. 
She is my shining light. Though her mother, by all accounts, was not. We both know that forgiveness is out of my hands. I mean for murdering my son. That was a sporting accident. Because I have not yet found it in my heart to forgive you. Ooh. Why have you invited me here today? Hmm. Off you go now. He can't, I know, it's like they can't tell. And I can't really tell if... Okay, that is... Going for Michael? Yeah. Oh. oh shit! They faked going for Arthur, and they're going for Michael. Oh! They're not here for you. It must be Michael. If your faith is real, I've got all the kids. He won't do it. No, he won't. Oh yeah. <laughs> Fuck I, yeah, Arthur. I, I do feel bad for her. Why? Because all that happened is he killed her son and now it's her fault. Gaslight her, Arthur. <laughs> Gaslight her. <laughs> no way Michael fucking dies here. That would be crazy. I guess though, and Paul's deal would be off. Mm -hmm. Where I'm from. Head on the bends. Lucky. Now. No way they fucking kill Michael right now. It looks run now. No. Why are you hesitating? Ooh. Second time he thought he was about to die. And tell your mother. We have a deal. <gasps> so oh. the deal is on. Oh fuck, but he's gonna be like, Mom, what are you doing? Yeah. Michael, what happened, Nick? What happened? They heard you, uh, they heard you coming. Look, the gun misfired. They ran away. Johnny! They heard you coming, the gun misfired. You came just in time. Okay. Tommy knows. Tommy knows something's fucked. Tommy's a genius. There's been an accident. Well, why don't you move it out of the way? What's that accent? Americans, we have our business, so... Well, you're gonna have to wait. We waited for you fucking yanks until 1918. It'll be clear in 20 minutes, all right? Yeah, all right. Talk about the war. Everything is about the war. <laughs> well, come on, let's go move it ourselves, fucking idiots. Are you gonna kill them right now, or what? Whose wagon is that? They're gypsies. Try the fucking gypsies. Oh, we can move it, eh? I said it'd be clear in 20 minutes. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, fucking move! <laughs> well, Luke is not Who's gonna get shot Who's thought that he'd fair? He said, tell your mom that we have a deal. Yeah. What deal? Oh! Just be you and me going to Australia, Michael. What deal did you make with Luca Cangretta? A deal to spare your life. In return for what? You agreed to give up, Tommy. You never forgave him, did you? We're out of our league. No, we don't do that to her own. Think. If it wasn't for me, you'd be smoke blowing out of a mortuary chimney. Think about that. 
You know, Mr. Shelby, maybe you've been pushing pieces of paper around too long. Ooh, I've already been saying that. Luca Chagrasa got away. When our paths cross, I won't be so careless. Well... And when will your you paths pretty, cross? Uh, careless when your paths cross last time. <laughs> Yeah, for a second I thought it was Ada. I couldn't really see. It's no. Tom, That's May for sure. Tommy and May are gonna be. Oh shit! Here we go. Her Majesty smells of paraffin. <laughs> it's because my old lamp is smoking for want of fuel. I hope your insistence that I take a boat rather than a cab from the station wasn't purely for your own amusement. Oh, for the avoidance of death or kidnap. Good morning, Lady Carter. Oh shit! I'm not a lady. She's jealous. Yeah. Two righteous. Ooh. Oh! She's jealous. Chewing, stabling, yes, food, yes, yes, two yes, hours yes. a day in the gallops. All the comments said that you're Tom Hardy's wife, so what are you doing here with Thomas Shelby? Yeah, right? It's the wrong Tom, May! Eh? Yeah, what the heck? Oh, here we go, Tom is just gonna say, are you gonna fuck me? So this way, Kami. Are you too blunt? All this way in person. You've lost your wife. And now your brother too. I thought it would make you different. But it doesn't seem to change you. The end of year accounts for the Grace Shelby Institute, Mr. Shelby. <laughs> Beg your pardon, madam. Of course, she comes in and says that. that. Look, he said, I already signed up on this. What do you think of his shirt? He's having them made in London. Not sure about them. All right, Lizzie, thank you. <laughs> Speaking of the Grace Shelby Foundation, I'd like to make a donation. I leave it blank. You can decide how much, Mr. Shelby. Damn. Lizzie's so putty and I love look, it. Look, I know, Lizzie likes Tommy. Yeah. Lizzie? You can pop to the bank and pay it in for me. That oh, was a dick swinging move right there. She just swung her dick around. Yeah, she did. <laughs> She's packing over now, Frank. <gasps> the Birmingham branch of the train drivers union called a wildcat strike in support of the coal miners. No trains to London till tomorrow. Well, well I mean. Papers. That's why they call it a wildcat. No one knows. So where will I stay in your city? I'll be free at four. I can meet you then. I'll pour you some gin. That's what they had the last time. I'm gonna make myself from my father's recipe. I'll book myself a room. Already done. The Midland is sweet. Stay with myself sometimes. Sometimes it's where you stay. And he's getting it with Lizzie. Well, he's taking Lizzie on a special date. But not tonight, it would seem. Oh, he said, but not tonight, it would seem. Well, since I'm stuck here, maybe I should try your gin. <gasps> when Tommy says, fine, you're lost, yeah. they're like, wait, 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 hold on, let's talk about this. All right, whatever. Lizzie! Yeah. <laughs> Look at you, see? She's listening. Fuck's that about Lizzie, hey? Have a guess. You know what? I can't even guess anymore. I'll be back at four. Why, she's still here. <gasps> Something to do with the coal miners, apparently. And we will kill your son. What happened? If you cannot deliver dummy Shelby. Dummy Shelby. As you promised. He's laying the pressure on Aunt Paul. <laughs> you having second thoughts now? Yeah. Or are you worried about Michael? I think she just made Michael an even bigger target mm -hmm. with that deal. Ten thousand pounds. She left it blank, so I filled it in. <laughs> I haven't done anyone's leaves for ages. Okay, swirl the teacup. Think about the man you love. Fuck him. I'll read the tea leaves. If you go and get Tommy's diary. She's like, no problem. <laughs> See if Tommy's got a free afternoon in the next seven days. Just read my leaves, Paul. Already have. Stop drinking whiskey. Switch to stout. Why? Tell him I have an appointment for him. And then go and see a doctor about that baby in your tea leaves. She's pregnant with Tommy's baby? Maybe. I mean, she interpreted that from fucking tea leaves. Yeah, but it's Aunt Paul. She's got those special, special she's mind got, powers. Yeah, she's magic. Get down and skip me 200 for taking the piss out of a fine fighter. I put him down as a welterweight, Midlands division, amateur turning pro, just need your counter signature. <laughs> well, like I'm gonna say no to you boys. Hmm? Just tell us, 
Is he ready? I've never seen a raw voice so ready. I'm gonna go for booty skirt. Do you want the cast of the boat from the jump? Curly! We love Curly. We love Curly. Curly's a kind soul. Mm -hmm. Do you have any boots that I could borrow? Why do you need boots? Well, no one here will speak to me, so I thought I'd take a walk by the canal. Is he really making gin? He's going mad cooped up here, is what he is. Like a wasp in a beer glass. You look a bit funny in these, I think. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you, Kelly. <laughs> You'll also need this. Are you serious? If you had any sense, Mrs. Carlton, you'd get out of here now. I said I would wait. The man you're waiting for doesn't exist. Well, well, why are you waiting for the man who doesn't exist? Would you like to try some of his skin? <laughs> Apparently there was a report of armed men in the Small Heath area. And there was a murder at the Summer Lane Hospital. The strikers threatened the men's families. They said, come the revolution, their names would be on a list. Did you ever consider the possibility that the communists might win? Damn. And you and me, traitors to our class, will be put up against a wall and shot. Consider all possibilities. I am just an extreme example of what a working man can achieve. Four o'clock. Is it? What do you think? Did you get wasted? Oh, nice. A little sweet. Come and see. I decided I'm going to be stuck here in Small Heath. Might as well do something useful. Less of a hobby. Of adventure. Since the start of Prohibition, I've been sending single malt, yeah. Scotch whiskey, doing all. to Boston, to Halifax, Nova Scotia. Oh, right. Hidden in crates of car parts. Prohibition. So, with the help of a friend of mine in Camden Town, I set up my own source of supply junipers, potatoes, her friend, her husband, IRL. sugar, and water. All turned into US dollars. So, tell me the truth. You're unlike any man I've ever met. And the gin? Too sweet. Damn! Lizzie Gold be so pissed! Yeah. I'm surprised she's not in the background right now. We can't see her I know. peeking up. <laughs> oh, he's like, nope. Me book a taxi, I'll go. He's like, is this a rejection? You're a businessman told me a good one. If only you could. If only I could what? If only you could change. Go on, say it. If only you could change the bad. And the good is laying off a thousand men, which I do. The bad are fucking winning the horses. And a gun. And some fucking self-respect. You fucking people. Damn! I don't think Go back to Lizzie. He faces rejection often. Bite like your horse. I'm sweet, son. <laughs> nice for you to bring women. <laughs> bring your mates. You keep an eye on our backyard. That's just so funny. It's mm. artillery square. Place is full of communists and strikers. Having a Shelby round here will keep them in order. I wouldn't have been able to pull that trigger. I know I wouldn't. They would have just walked past. I'm not John. I know you're not. We don't get to decide who lives and who dies, Finn. Not us. You just have to. Flick a switch. Charlie said it wasn't safe to walk by the canal. Yeah, he's right. There's your carriage. You can catch the 7.15 train. I thought there was a strike. Gave me that idea. Damn! My God. I wanted you to stay. Normally I get my own way. Losing occasionally makes me worse. Yeah. At least you can admit it. She looks a picture of my boots, doesn't she, Tom? Walk her to the train, Curly. We will not accept working longer hours for the same wage. Shoulder to shoulder with the coal miners, dock workers, railway men and steel workers. We will stand united. Jesse Eden? Yes? I'd like to buy you a drink. I'm afraid the pubs around here don't allow unaccompanied female drinkers. I'm sure we'll be fine. Damn! This is the help that Tammy needed from Eden? Mm-hmm. Sorry, ladies, we don't... <sighs> She's like, don't what? What are you drinking, ladies? That's what you're supposed to say. Mm, yes. Sorry. Uh, what are you drinking? 
Beer, pint. And a whiskey on ice. Used to advocate armed revolution. Shelby Company Limited is prepared to offer parity for male and female workers across all the factories in our ownership. In return for something very unusual. He wants to talk about socialism and revolution. To God, he's serious. Bookmakers hedge their bets. Sometimes long shots come in. And because we emptied his buses today, he thinks we are among the runners and riders. Beneath it all, my brother's a very rational man. And beneath all what? You mean beneath the beatings, the cuttings, the shootings, the murders? Yeah, beneath all that. When we take power, all means of production will be owned by the workers. Essential industries will be taken into state control. Birmingham Town Hall is a rather beautiful building and we plan to preserve it. He wants to take you for dinner. I really have nothing to wear. You'd need to wear boots. He's suggesting dinner in a scrap metal yard. <laughs> Said you'd appreciate the sentiment. This is not how you conduct union business. We must all make personal sacrifices for the good of the good old cause. For the good of the right. good old cause. Is that Alfie? <laughs> yep. I heard him go. <laughs> <laughs> Alfie's back. There he's everywhere. Stretch your legs, Streetle. Fuck me, he looks like he's grown. Since we left London, he's like a mushroom, isn't he? He grows in a dark. Oh, it's it. Thank you, thank you. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. This must be Goliath. Is that the guy's gonna fight? What? Let me introduce you to David. <laughs> to my boys. We'll assume that David's out of bed. Yeah, Tommy, you've got fucking starlings, mate. You know that? That shit will rot your pipe work. You bastards only understand one language. It's all right, Tuffy. <laughs> no need. It's all right, I'm, uh, I'm gonna need a kestrel. <laughs> I hear that you've got Italians, mate. you got a kestrel for them and all. Yes. I know you don't touch it, but you have a good nose. All right, well, you've got to ask yourself seriously, though, you know. Did I even want to piss some shit indoors? You know, or was I actually born? you know, to defecate in the fields and the outhouses. <laughs> it's a serious issue, though, Tommy. You, know? you just cannot wash it out, right, because it, it come out of your mother's tits. Hmm. <laughs> nah. The Americans want it sweeter. <laughs> I heard a cop got shot. Who shot him? <clears throat> My kestrel. All right, oh, what a mistake. Very good. One of the Sicilians? They're still using Sabini for vehicles and for places to stay. Which side are you playing for, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the I question? Know. I don't know what Alfie's doing. What kind doing. of world is it to bring up children when your own mate can ask you that question, eh? Well, the truth is, Tommy, you're gonna be fucking dead soon. You tell Darby Sabini from me, and if the Italians win, they're not planning on leaving. And after me, it'll be him, and then you, and the Titanic, and the fucking Mafia, Alfie. Come to talk purse for the fight. Your kestrel. Hmm? Tommy, when a pikey walks in with hair like that, you've got to ask yourself, have I made a mistake? <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck am I? Who the fuck is this? I am the uncle, her, the protector, and the promoter of that fucking thing right there in whose shadow nothing good nor godly will ever fucking run. <laughs> he was adopted by Satan himself before he was returned out of fear of his awkwardness. <laughs> but it's impossible to marry off due to his lethal dimensions. His mother. Terrified, just fucking abandoned him. Any man that you put before him, right, it'd be like entering a fucking threshing machine, mate. Now, will you offer your son? <laughs> so you finished for the weekend, Tommy? Yeah. Your mother wants me to go to the foundation, prize giving. Michael's gonna tell him. Just you? Yeah, Michael's gonna fucking tell him. Why? No reason. Michael's not gonna tell him. No reason. No reason. Have a good weekend. I knew he was going to say some shit like that. He's like, oh, take care. Or just Tommy realized that's weird. He's got to know. Yeah, because earlier he gave Michael that lingering look. Yeah, he did. That's why. Fuck. Oh, no, what are you doing, Aunt Paul? What the fuck? Mm. Ah! Oh, I have a 
boy. Yeah. Well, we went into this episode hoping that Aunt Paul was trying to do some bigger, grander plot to mm-hmm. throw off Luca or to kill him or whatever. Something that would mean that she wasn't actually trying to betray Tommy. Uh, but no, she is. Yep. It seems as though there is definitely a situation. There's a situation. <sighs> Fuck. I thought Michael was going to tell him for sure. Yeah. So Tommy might be having another baby, it seems like. I mean, well, that'd be crazy. I, like I said, like don't trust tea leaves, no, but at the same time, they be. they wouldn't have said that if it wasn't real. So I think Lizzie's gonna have a giant Tommy baby. And May left. So. Yeah, and he tried to get it on with May right after he was leading on Lizzie. I feel bad for her. A lot going on. Abarama Gold Sun Bonnie is <laughs> gonna fight the Goliath. Alfie Solomon's cousin? Is that what they said he was? Something, yeah. He's, he, 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 was he, he knows Alfie Sullins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we know each other. So that'll be interesting. But yeah, I think the main thing is I am super curious to see what the Tommy situation is. Mm-hmm. There's no fucking way Tommy dies. Right. Because we got a lot of seasons left, but... We've only got two seasons left. That's true. What if yeah. he dies and it's just fucking... But yeah, I don't know. I'm excited to see what goes down. I can't believe Aunt Paul's doing this. I can't believe Michael didn't say anything. I thought Michael was going to say something. You could tell he wanted to. He was very conflicted, I think. Yeah. And thank you guys so much for watching. We always appreciate it. Just to let you know, we both have our own individual YouTube channels. Oh, and we, we stream on Twitch. So if you want to see more from us, you can check out the links in the description. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you for the next episode. Later. Bye.